Oh, 11 o'clock, um, a damp, drizzly day. Um, it is forecast for rain later on this afternoon, but at the moment it's just drizzly. Um, I've managed to get out for a few hours. Um, rain's out, and uh, I've come up to one of my favourite sites in Cumbria. Um, I'm going to give a, a try to the, uh, the Deep Seeker Head on this field that I've done many times over the years uh, just to see if anything different comes up. Um, obviously I'll come back and let you know if anything does but uh, meanwhile we'll get moving because um, I don't know how long I've actually got before the rain gets too heavy. Right, so just a few steps in. First find is 65 signal and a uh, tiny little clock glass. Very small one, probably off a sh child's shoe. find actually. But about seven inches down um, this came up. Now I have to say this looks like very much like a hobnail uh, rolled boot. I have had many of these before. Not too many here but uh, other sites. So we'll go with that for the moment. It'll clean it up but it certainly looks like it. So we'll go with a Roman hobnail. Um, Oldest find so far this morning out of two. A good 78 signal here, um, and again, a good six inches down. And uh, what I first thought was a shotty when I saw that, but then I cleaned it with a mock off it. And no, it's the first one of the morning with uh, shanks still intact, uh, probably 18th, 19th century. I don't know if there's any pattern on it, but um, we can check it out and see you later on. A few steps further on, and a really good 81-82 signal. Um, this looks very much like the first coin of the day. Ah, very worn. Not sure if there's going to be any detail on it at all, but looks to be about half penny sized halfpenny. Um, okay, we'll try and clean it up later, but yep, first coin of the day. Um, let's see what else it is here. Well, it's a weird thing. Um, I've somehow, I'm going side to side on the field now instead of lengthwise um, around where the the uh, hobnail came up in that first coin. Anyway, I've somehow veered way over to the right um, and got a cracking 88 signal here, which was looks like a second coin again, extremely worn. Um, doesn't look as if there's anything on there at all. But it is a coin, uh, half penny size again, and then in the same hole, um, nice piece of fragments of dark blue glass. Um, I don't know. Could be 18th, 19th century. Could be older. Now um, we'll clean it up and check it out. But uh, yeah, that was a nice little bonus, considering I'm not where I was supposed to be. Uh, Alright, we'll keep on down and work our way back to where we, where we were going to be to start with.
Yeah, built in uh, 92, one way, 83 the other. Um, not very deep, probably about four inches. And uh, a copper alloy or bronze nail. Um, round head, I think. Difficult to tell because half of it's not there. But the nail itself um, is, is square. So, yeah, probably a bit of age to it, but uh, yeah, nothing spectacular, but another find. Really good uh, 68 72 signal. Um, again, not very deep this one, three four inches tops, and then in the sod, this came out. And what we have here is a little cross, um, almost certainly religious, I would think. But uh, I think there's a fair bit of age to this, so. We'll clean it carefully and we'll take it in when we next go and see the flow and see what they can make of it. Right, wonderful job. So, we'll just, instead of going up and along the field again, we'll just keep going up and down, I think, and because uh, we get quite a few signals here. Um, although this is the first find we've had since that second halfpenny a while ago. Good 83 signal both ways here, and from six inches down, it looks like we might have another coin here. Um, there's the imprint there, very, very thin, oh, extremely thin, but yeah, it is a coin. Um, oh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to find anything on this, but it's a half penny and. Uh, a little bit of cleaning might come up with something, but wow, that is thin. Right, okay. So another coin. Let's keep going. So another 8791 signal here. Um, as you can see, I missed it with the, the main one, but here it came out. It was very near the surface. Now, can't quite make my mind up at the moment whether it's part of a coin, uh, a button, or just a piece of scrap. So I'll have to wait till I get home and get it cleaned, but potentially a find. Let's see what else it is. And uh, this one, lead, a um, little domed weight. Now, there seems to be depression in the bottom. I don't know if it goes all the way through. If it does, possibly a spindle wall. But if it is, possibly a very old one. But uh, this could be anywhere, medieval, all the way back to Roman. Fantastic. Right, let's get this one filled in and keep moving. Well, the last few trips side to side. Um, on the field have produced absolutely nothing, uh, not a signal. 
So I thought I'll go back to doing um, trips on the length and uh, took a couple of dozen steps and 82 signal, uh, another lead find, but uh, it is a lead weight. Um, yeah, that's about all I can say at the moment. I can clean it a bit. I don't know if there's any markings on it, but certainly a lead weight. Um, a bit battered. Anyway, um, another find and we'll keep going, see what else we can get, come up with before the rain starts. Right, well that wind is starting to get up now, um, and it is quite strong, so I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to have left here, um, if it blows the, the rain and snow in, as it's supposed to do. Anyway, uh, 6872 signal here, and um, we have the musket ball for the day, a uh, little pistol shot I think, but uh, yeah, no doubt about that one, so 18th, 19th century. Um, let's get it logged and move on. Got another quite deep find here. Um, this one is, as you can see, it's the full length of the pro pointer. So. We're looking at a uh, good 8 inches, 20 centimetres there, and a uh, huh, lump of iron. Um, yeah, probably not a great deal of anything there, but it's... Oh. oh, there is some shape to that. Do you know, I know what this is. This is a, a small horseshoe, very small horseshoe, and it would be from a mule in which case it's extremely old, or possibly a Shetland, Shetland pony. Um, I'll try and get so, as much as possible of this off, and we can maybe see. But um, yeah, um, so small horseshoe, could be anywhere from 2nd, 3rd, 4th, right up to 19th century. <laughs> 